coming up on Star Salvation. We gotta get these bad boys going. Please, please, dear God, melt. Iron Chef Alex Garnaschelli and Eddie Jackson, winner of Food Network Star Season 11, will mentor eliminated finalists from Food Network Star through a series of challenges that will prepare one of them for the second chance of a lifetime. Yaku, Aaron, you survived your first Star Salvation Challenge. Congratulations. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. But of course, you're not the only eliminated finalist battling for the comeback. Here's someone you know that's also determined to win. Hi! If I walk back into the kitchen and there's Yaku and Aaron. What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm so happy to see these guys. I mean, we all became really fast friends. <laughs> it's like coming home again. Anybody who walks through that door is a threat, so I have to take them down. Welcome back. Thank you. Are you excited about having this second chance? I'm completely stoked. So happy to be back. So Monterey, despite serving up consistently beautiful dishes, you were eliminated for being a little bit unfocused, both on camera and on the plate. And I just remember like, you know, grilling with my friends on the beach or like going out drunk at like two in the, two in the morning and hang, hitting up a taco stand. Monterey, you represent a whole new generation of culinary talent. So give us your fresh take on food and be sure to connect it to your unique story. Will do. So some of you took part in the Food Network Star Family Road Trip Challenge. Now for that challenge, finalists had to create the perfect family meal for a vacation destination. Today's challenge is inspired by a different road trip destination. Imagine if you will, <laughs> driving in the car with your family, everyone gets a little hungry. So where do you go? Fast food. A drive through restaurant. So with this challenge, you're gonna get 30 minutes to create a drive through meal that can appeal to the entire family. The dish must include a unique spin that's all your own. When I hear road trip, I instantly think of my kids. After your cook, you'll tape a one minute presentation to camera and that presentation should make any family want to pull off the highway for a chow down. At the end of this challenge, one of you will be taking a U-turn and heading home. Your 30 minutes to create an elevated drive through dish starts now. I'm in a little bit of a disadvantage. I don't have kids. I don't cook for children. I do big, bold flavors. So I got to push a little bit extra to make sure that I don't get sent home. I am going to make a spicy Korean fried chicken wrap with slaw and my umami mayo. There is a little bit of spice to it, but who doesn't love fried chicken? For this challenge, I'm making sweet and tangy cornmeal crusted shrimp po' boy with rosemary brown butter chips. It's something that me and my family will grab on a road trip. Something fun, something light that allows us to get there happy. I'm making a bacon and tomato grilled cheese sandwich with an arugula shaved vegetable salad. That's sort of drive through, right? I'm running with it. The first thing I need to do is get my bacon cooked off. Just put it on the sheet tray, throw it in the oven, and forget about it. For cheeses, I'm going a smoked Gouda. It'll pair really well with the bacon. And then a Monterey Jack cheese and a cheddar cheese. Those cheeses melt really nicely. So Aaron's doing a grilled cheese sandwich. Okay. You're trying to show your culinary chops here, dude. This is no time to play it safe. I make grilled cheese for my kids at home all the time. Daddy, we love your grilled cheese. Alex and Eddie will say the same thing. I want to get my chicken breaded and fried. I'm using boneless skinless chicken breast. It's family friendly. Soak it in buttermilk so that it's moist and juicy in the center. And then dredge it in my flour mix that I add panko breadcrumbs to. Garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of ginger. Got a little Nashville, got a little foreign, got a little kid friendly. There you go. And I'm looking at all these spices and flavors she got on her station. This girl loves putting everything in every one of her dish items. 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes, you guys. Yaku, my man. How you doing? Hi. My man, Ooh, honey this looks oh. delicious. Are you making oh. potato chips? Want to do rosemary brown butter yams? I mean, that's a fast food item, that, rosemary that, brown butter. That's a fancy fast food right there. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt to season this water a little bit. Eddie suggests that I season my water. I suggest Eddie mind his business when it comes to me making chips. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Hey, oh, how's it yeah. going? What we got going on here? Well, I'm making a slaw. I have my Korean fried chicken in the fryer right now. Yeah. So you're going to roll this fried chicken and this slaw up into a burrito, and we're going to eat it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, like, how I'm going to eat that 
Well, I'll probably cut those in half. If it's just chicken and mayo in a wrap, I mean, what is that? I gotta have something else in there. I gotta go check on my chicken, though. All right, yeah, don't burn that chicken. No one wants to talk to us. Look at this. Please, Louise. We're alone here. I'm gonna build this now. So I start by adding the different cheeses and then the bacon. Some of those flavors that he's putting inside that grilled cheese may be a bit too much. That worries me. I mm -hmm. wish he would start cooking those grilled cheeses. I run over to the stove, put my grilled cheese in, and I just let it go. So I'm coating my shrimp in cornmeal. I feel like when you fry the cornmeal, you get a nice, rich, golden fry. I'm noticing that my shrimp aren't getting that fry that I want, so I got to kick this oil up a little bit. We got to get these bad boys going. Three minutes, guys, three minutes. I flip my sandwich, and the cheese is not melted through. Oh, God, this is not good. This thing has to go in the oven ASAP. Please, please, dear God, melt. After I get the temperature turned up on the fryer, my shrimp get to that crispy texture that I want. I'm getting my slaw on my bread. Then you got the crispy golden shrimp with a little bit of that chipotle drizzle. That's what daddy's looking for. My chicken is pulled out of the fryer, so now I gotta glaze it with my sweet and spicy sambal sauce. I don't wanna do too much of a coating because after all, this is for kids. I don't want it to be too spicy. Pull out my grilled cheese. I slice one open and the cheese isn't melting. Did cut the cheese too thick. I've gotta get this food on the plate fast. We got 30 seconds left, guys. Woo! Have ya! Five, four, three, two, one, stop! Guys, so now you're gonna have one minute to record your presentation. And that presentation should really make us hungry. We're talking U-turn, pull over on the side of the road, and chow. <laughs> so you're gonna have one minute, look right into your camera. Here we go, and five, four, three, two. Okay guys, let's check out your videos. Aaron, you're up first. God, I hope Eddie and Alex like my video. I have to improve on last week, and I hope I did that. What's up, everybody? I'm Chef Aaron. Let's talk road trips. My go-to is a grilled cheese sandwich. Put some bacon in there, smoky, salty, and then I throw it in a tomato. Kids always need to see some kind of vegetable on the plate. Even if they don't eat it, at least they're getting introduced to it. And whether it's a year later or 10 years later when your kid finally starts eating food, your kids don't eat food until they're 10 years old? I don't get it. Oh man, the cheese in this, the bacon, the tomatoes, it's awesome. I think it's definitely some positive things uh, on this dish. Very flavorful, that smoked gouda and the bacon. And then the actual crunch on the bread, that's what I look for in the grilled cheese sandwich. But the cheese, it didn't get melted. The cheese I cut too thick. At the end, I was like, I could have thrown it in the microwave. Or you could have started cooking it on the stove sooner your presentation. You started out really great, and it just kind of petered. You said, tomato, got to get the veggies in there. Yeah. Even if your kids aren't going to eat a tomato for 10 years. I made some mistakes in this challenge, but I'm praying to God that someone else made worse ones. Yaku, let's take a look at your video. I'm Chef Yaku, and this is my sweet heat po' boy. Delicious shrimp with a little bit of a cutter in there. What I mean by cutter? A little bit of coleslaw in there to cut that heat. Yaku's video is great. Mm, mm, mm. This is perfect for a road <laughs> trip. So please enjoy this delicious, sweet heat po' boy. For me, there's just no doubt that you really know how to cook. That means the world coming from you. Dips are amazing. The heat, the crunch, the textures, you really, really know how to create great flavors. Only thing that I would say about your presentation, I felt like you may have been screaming a little bit. I love that you said it's a cutter. You created your own term for something, you asked a question, and then you answered it, and it was so exciting. However, you said perfect, beautiful, convenient. All those words describe where my local supermarket is. Alex made a very good point. I'm just hoping it doesn't end my road here. All right, Monterey. When they call my name, my heart is pounding like a freight train. Oh, this never gets easier. <laughs> it's Monterey. And today I made my family road trip special. Now, if you've noticed, I really don't do things the normal way. <laughs> so what we got, I had this incredible panko crusted fried chicken, made a little sauce with some sambal honey so it's nice and spicy, a little sweet. Monterey's presentation starts off good, a little worried. 
You really can't go wrong. I love your laughing and the way you're kind of enjoying yourself, but you do a little bit of like, I don't know if your body language always conveys that you are also an expert. I gotta say, I really love this wrap. Love the chicken, I love the slaw. This is the bomb. Thank you. The flavors are really kind of addictive. I love it, but the spiciness of this, I don't know if it's a kid-friendly thing. Maybe my chicken's a little bit too spicy. I knew that was gonna be an obstacle, but I went for it. So guys, we know that this challenge was a lot harder than it first sounded. Preparing family-pleasing food that still has enough punch to grab our attention is not easy. Monterey, the thing I'd say to you is your best quality is also something that could be your downfall. If you noticed, I really don't do things the normal way. <laughs> it also makes me wonder sometimes if you're able to convey your authority, because everything's kind of something that we're laughing off. Yaku, we loved your presentation, but you gotta find that balance mm -hmm. between mm -hmm. speaking like a poet and being over the top. Absolutely. Aaron, you started off really strong, and you had some really great moments when you said bacon was smoky and salty. But down. after your initial burst of energy, you kind of petered out a little. So the first chef that's gonna be moving on in Star Salvation is Yaku. Good job, brother. I am ecstatic to be safe. Aaron and Monterey, you both had some really high highs and a few low lows. We ended up picking the person who's gonna move on based on the taste of the dish. Your presentations were pretty much neck and neck, but one of you edged the other out just a little bit with the cooking. The finalist who will be staying with us is... Monterey. Aaron, you have a lot of great qualities. Thanks. You just gotta bring it all together. This was a great experience. I mean, you guys actually gave me something to work on. So thank you guys, you guys are awesome. Best of luck to you, brother. Thank you, you too, bye.